to notice it. His eyeballs suck. I got a dollar. <laughs> Seriously, have you ever tried surfing on that coil yet? facility because for the past hour all I've dug is screwed up aluminum cans back down at the other end of the beach it was just one end of a can after another not the middles just the ends the top or the bottom there's like 20 of them I already had to make a trip to the trash can because it already filled up my pouch so I don't know what's gone on the other day when I was here, there was a lot of aluminum cans sitting on the surface. Well, now they're all buried down about six, seven inches, eight inches or more. So I don't know what the barge flipped over out there right off the, between here and Catalina Island, but uh, it's all right back there. And since I left over there, I haven't got a signal anywhere else. So, shaping up to be a good day so far. Well, anyway, if I find anything, I'll let you know. But uh, this may be a real short one. All right? Later. tone so we'll uh, see what we got here oh come on tide you're supposed to be going the other way well, I think I got it yep we'll go up here and do the old dumpy dump because I don't feel like sifting it through the sand and through the water and if it's small losing it, but I don't think it's small. It sounded pretty good. Yep. See some blue thing right here. Yep. Bottle cap. That's the way the bottle cap sound. Well everybody. I went, like I said, way down there at the other end, and I dug nothing but aluminum cans. I walked all the way from way down there by the jetty to right here and did not get one signal, and then I dug a dime. Right out in that mess right out there, it's like a deeper hole. And I get another signal that, I don't know, it was kind of all over the damn place. I stuck the scoop in, and when I stuck it in, I looked down and saw something. That looked like a big black flap. So I just reached down and grabbed it. And when I did, check this out. Hello. The flap was sticking up out of the sand. So my day's made, because I just dug another damn GoPro. And this sucker's a Hero 4 Black. And I got two silvers, so now I got a black. I gotta look at the thing and see who's, uh, who shits on it. <laughs> Maybe I could get it back to him, but uh, sometimes that's pretty hard. I posted one one time on uh, YouTube for the lost GoPro thing where everybody posts their stuff and nobody answered it. So that's, I don't know if that's the one I'm using right here or the other one, because they're both silvers. And after I took the card out, I don't remember which one was which, but uh, this one didn't have anything on it. One of them didn't have anything on it, so. But anyway, 
cool. I'll take it. Makes my day. All right. Later. Well, just for something to dig, I'm going to dig this one on camera. Same as it ever was. This is that spot where all I've dug is aluminum right here. In this low spot, all it is is aluminum. Don't know what to tell you. It's all canned. Sitting. Later. There's an old antique, a Motorola StarTac. Who in the hell? Good God, that thing's got to be 20 years old. Anyway. There's an antique for you. Not a bad tone. Uh, ugh, the sand is hard right there. as that was and discriminate and pinpoint it's nothing piece of a car or something woohoo I'm glad I wasted the time turning the camera on for that well look at there Tony I got me a space pod It's a teenager sized space pod. But I went all through that low thing out there, all the way down and back and forth and back and forth, and found one aluminum can and a penny. And right back there in that mess, I dug a tube off of a wind chime or something. So it's pretty crappy out here. One for this GoPro, I'd say piss on it and go home. Because it's nothing out here. Well, look at there, Keithy. Got one for you, buddy. A Keithy 6 Special. Got the whole ball of wax there. 
That one's for Keithy Six up in Alaska. Well, here's a new one. I got this, oh, mid-tone, real warbly. When I dug it out, it was just a low burr, burr, burr. And I pick it up, and it's a quarter. I think it's a quarter with a screw stuck to it. So, now I know what a quarter with a screw stuck to it sounds like. <laughs> Nothing I've ever heard before. So anyway, I got another quarter, or a quarter finally. That was a quarter. Anyway, on to the next. Good afternoon, everybody. This is a quick wrap up of today's hunt at the uh, land of PB and J. And uh, I know you all heard the term, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Well, you ever go out on a hunt and you hunt and hunt and hunt and you come back with nothing except one thing that uh, makes it all worth worth going but you still have that empty feeling inside because all you dug was just junk other than that one thing I mean you know you look at you look at this Dallas Cowboys I don't know what whatever the hell this is it's got critters stuck to it you got a StarTac cell phone talk about an antique it's a freaking StarTac Still in the belt clip. To hell would somebody be doing out there with one of these? And it hadn't been down there that long. Because it ain't all blowed up and it just stuck in the case. But what the hell? That thing belongs in a museum. I dug two dimes, two pennies, an Eisenhower space pod. A what's it that's got something that looks like a coin in it right there something tiny this big what's it a Keithy special a quarter that's got a screw stuck to it that's a quarter with a screw corroded right to it that was the only quarter I found so you you, you know you walk away going I didn't find crap but you find one thing and you're like, well, okay, now that makes the whole day worth it. And what I found, and it's the fifth one I found in the exact same spot damn near, right by the pier. So it's something to do with the pier. It attracts the way it, the, the, the bottom shaped underneath the pier that everything washes over there and then, and then settles because it was settled into the sand, but the strap was sticking out another GoPro the Hero 4 Black and I took the card out the card has some information on it but most of the files were corrupt I don't know what they did but my computer shows them as files that says it cannot read and I've never had a file any any of my files ever on a GoPro that says cannot read So you figure that's a GoPro, that's a Hero Black, and all my the, the other ones I found were silvers and a Hero Three. Here's one of them right here. This one was shot. The camera got flooded with water because this was the case. And this has been a year or so ago, and it literally had barnacles and crap growing off it in the strap. When I found it, it had a head strap, it, it had seaweed type critters growing off of it. So, if you ever, here's a hint, here's some advice. If you ever find a GoPro that's cracked and full of water, make sure you open it up in a well ventilated area because the damn things stink to high heaven when you open them. That's Tony. He found one yesterday too or today and uh, I think it was today he showed me a picture of it I guess it was the same day today 
and uh, it had a cracked lens on the dive case, and it reeked to high heaven. I told him, don't open it in the house, and he says, uh, too late, but he did. He opened it in the garage, so he was okay. It didn't stink up the whole house like that one did right there, but anyway, that's why I said it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, because it felt like I didn't find anything, really, but I just got lucky and happened to walk over what uh, at the time I started to dig it, thought was a cell phone. The strap was sticking up. The strap was off of one side. It had come unhooked from the little gap thingy on the on the, the wrist strap. There's a little, see that little, I don't know if you can see it, there's a gap in that right there. Well, there's a gap on the other where this is hooked on over here and it had slid off. And the last video, the last two videos were of somebody surfing, but I never saw anybody's face. The guy got up and fell down, and the last video, he didn't even get up, and the next 54 minutes, 52 seconds was of the thing rolling around in the sand. So, figure out a way to try to maybe get it back to the person, but uh, it doesn't look good. I don't have any v footage that I could prove anything. All the footage, there was like a hundred files on there, well, three of them were mine. Because I kept pushing the button and it was recording my mug. But uh, it just said they were un unable to view. And it showed them as LRV files and T THML files. So what those are, I know that one of them is like a thumbnail that it puts on there. But the other one, I don't know what an LRV file is. I've never had those on mine before. So I, I haven't figured that one out yet. But uh, it just said it couldn't view them. So, anyway, it was a good day because I found another GoPro. Not that I really needed one. I got two. But this one's a black. So now I can shoot 4, 4K stuff at higher frame rates. Not that I do that either because YouTube can't even handle hardly 1080p. But, uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll give it a whirl one of these days and see what it comes out like. Anyway like to thank everybody for watching. Be safe. Good luck. Happy hunting. See ya. Bye. Ah! GoPro down!